Welcome, it's me, Beth the Builder, and I'm doing more projects. <laughs> Duh. Okay, so I showed you guys my uh, whole saw kit that I got for Christmas, so I thought I would do a couple different projects with that and show how it's all installed because I'm a noob with it, but it's like wicked easy and it's such a nice tool to have around. And then I'm going to redeem myself with a with redoing that little plant holder that I did. Uh, you can check it out. It's a stupid Pinterest project that I tried and it went poorly. I gave it a thumbs down as a project overall, but I said I think a whole saw would really help me out. So I'm going to try that. And then I also have two other projects that um, I think will be cool to try with a whole saw. So um, let's do it. I don't have any thicker, nicer wood right now that I want to sacrifice to any of these projects. So this is all uh, pallet wood that I broke down to do um, various things, make some new Etsy stuff, etc. So um, this was one whole board that I chopped up into some pieces, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use these for remaking that plant holder, and then I'm gonna use these for a like a four. Um, votive candle thingy and then I chopped a piece of log apart um, and I'm going to use my whole saw to make this into also a candle holder so just kind of various like trying out various different bits and you know doing some fun crafty cool wood stuff so okay so this all comes apart and this is the assembly it's the nut the install plate the whole saw and then this is a one whole piece so it's not complicated. So this goes in here like so, whoa. And then this has two little raised, you can see that, two raised pieces that go, that pop into the two holes. Each of these has two holes right here. So this goes in there and then the two, so then those drop into those holes. I definitely know what I'm talking about. And then this guy goes like this. And it all tightens together, and then this part goes into your drill. So it's super not complicated. This tightens up, and then you stick it in your drill. So yeah, it's super easy. It's not complicated at all. Um, and yeah, this whole kit came with the 13 different sizes, plus the little assembly, and a little nice little kit um, carrying case thing. So that's pretty handy. Um, but yeah, I think any of this stuff can be intimidating if you let it, and it doesn't have to be because it's not rocket science. And you can find helpful shit on the internet, or you can just use your head and try it out and be careful, safety first. Alrighty, so this is gonna be my bottom one because this one's all f***ed up, so I'm just gonna drill holes through these four and see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna use the two and five eighths pull saw. I think that'll be a little bit of a nicer size. All right, safety first. I'm gonna put my goggles on because, hey, you never know what could happen. Okay, so, um, these are definitely not the fanciest, nicest hole saws, but they got the job done. My drill's a little bit hot, so that's not great, but my drill is also not like the nicest, fanciest drill ever. So, you know, be aware, don't burn out your drill because you're trying to, dr to bore through maybe more wood than you need to right this moment. So, <laughs> looking at this, it literally says, not for metal, hardwood, density board, particle board, and computer tables. Whatever the heck a computer table is. All right, let's try a smaller one. All right, I'm gonna use my smaller drill for a second while my other one kind of cools down. So, okay, I'm gonna try, let's see what this guy's about. Let's see if this can even handle it.
Yeah, I think somebody commented that they thought my whole styles weren't very deep when I did my um, unboxing live stream. And yeah, they're really, really not. But like, I generally would only be using these for like really, really specific things. Like you would use them for, you know, drilling a hole in, I don't know, drywall or something if you need to, whatever, punch a really perfect hole in them or whatever. Um, this is all kind of like crafty fun stuff that I wouldn't necessarily be using them for this every day or whatever. You wouldn't really be using a hole saw every day unless you're like, I don't know, a plumber or a carpenter. Okay, so obviously for this guy, like, because I'm not drilling all the way through this log, which I could if it was much shallower, I don't think that these hole saws are going to really hold up to drilling through four and a half inches of a log. Um, but for something like this, like, they do all right. <laughs> um, so I finished off with this uh, hex blade. This guy. Um, to just clear out the inside. I could have maybe also used my rotary tool or whatever. So I switched out this much thicker, um, denser board for this thinner one, but this is probably going to be easier for these hole saws. So, um, it might, I mean, it could be my drills are just maybe don't have as much power as you might want to do this. Um, but also, I mean, it could be that literally the directions say that this, that they're not for harder wood. So. Uh, fair enough. We're through! Yeah! So that definitely was a lot easier. So <laughs> the directions are correct. These are not for super hard wood, but that was a lot easier. That's where, uh, you know, following directions is, in help is helpful. So I'm going to yeah let my drill cool down because I've done several holes and it definitely needs a break. I'm going to finish these up and then I'll show you my finished project. Product, project, whatever, both works. Yeah, I've been wanting to do this project where um, with like uh, we can put like five candles in it. I've wanted to do that for a little while and this is definitely the tool for that job. Um, it's not something I would use every day but it's definitely a nice thing to have when you need it. Um, I should get like a, a bunch of these um, spade blades or hex or whatever you want to call them because um, they're really, really handy and I only have a couple. So yeah, I'm going to redeem myself by finishing that plant holder and it being better this time. Um, and yeah, I'll show you kind of what I was thinking for these candle holders. I'm definitely like an advocate for using what you have and not going out and buying every single tool because that's an endless list of things you could have. Um, but it's really nice to have this specific tool when you need it. And like I said, like earlier, it's really frustrating when you're like, if only I had that thing, this would be so much easier. You know, that's just kind of part of like being a beginner, um, <laughs> handy person um, DIYer is that it's a journey to figure out the tools for the job and the things that you're willing to spend money on you want versus the things you don't want and you don't want to spend money on and you're willing to make do with one other tool that you have because there's a lot of versatile tools out there um, but yeah it's a journey you know to, of gathering tools but you know I'm still a beginner I am definitely like just still on my journey of being a more experienced handy woman who's willing to tackle lots of projects and that's kind of what this is all about like it's my journey of discovering that like I really like this stuff I think it's a lot of fun and just like experimenting and figuring out like what I'm what I need to learn and what I am willing to just jump in and try and see how it goes <laughs> like all my tiling stuff my floor stuff is all just like I'm gonna fucking try that you know like just putting the blood sweat and tears into that project and a lot of people aren't willing to do that, you know, like they're just going to pay someone to do that thing. And I'm not willing to do that always. Um, I definitely am willing to call somebody and pay somebody to do a thing for me. But I feel like trying, you know, like 
is free. <laughs> like you can try and do that thing. And then when you need to call somebody, you know how to do that. Everyone has a friggin' smartphone. Everyone can search a plumber or an electrician or a fucking carpenter. So, and if you're not gonna burn your house down or ruin everything in your life, why not try? I listen to this podcast called The Survivalist Podcast. Um, it's just about like self-reliance and self-sufficiency. And it's it covers the gamut of things um, under that umbrella. The guy, his name's Jack. I think. So he kind of laments the fact that like people have kind of lost the like try attitude of like just attempting a thing. Like people are really quick to be not self-reliant and want to just call a person and solve the problem, not themselves, which I totally get. And I'm definitely like, sometimes you don't want to fucking deal with a leaky faucet. <laughs> but I definitely agree that I feel like people have lost a little bit of the like self-reliance of like you being a person and having a lot of resources and being able to figure a problem out <laughs> you know like instead it's like a lot of reliance on like outside forces oh no there's no toilet paper i guess i'll like wrestle a grandma to the ground no one like needs toilet paper <laughs> you know but yeah then when it comes to like things that they're not gonna like make or break you like you're not gonna die if your faucet leaks a little bit or if whatever you know <laughs> a cabinet door doesn't like close the exact right way or just something like really simple like this door is squeaky you know it the deadbolt doesn't lock very well um some like really really simple stuff like people are just like give up like they're just like i don't know and i and i definitely think like I'm a, I'm a fixer, like I'm a problem solver. I was always really good at that in my jobs, not being reliant on someone else to figure it out for me and diving in and doing it myself. Um, so that's where all this stuff really is in my wheelhouse and I'm not an expert, but I'm willing to try like pretty much anything. I'm willing to give it a go and just see how far I can get. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't go my way and sometimes I'm like now I know like now I'm not I know I am not interested in messing with that thing again or you know in the cases of like tiling or building a little shelf or a table or a little mug tree or um, rewiring a light fixture or whatever it goes fine and I'm like I fixed that and that was awesome it's very rewarding so I definitely agree I think so I guess it's you know it's just me this is just, you know, me trying to be encouraging for people to just try stuff because you might find out that you can do a lot more than you thought you could. So on that note, I'm going to finish these projects up and I'm going to show you how they turn out. Get yourself a hole saw if, if you want, I don't know, or not. Uh, maybe get yourself a bigger, fancier drill than mine. But otherwise, you know, that's kind of all the things we used was, I mean, some clamps. I used my hex bit and my, my drill. So. Um, definitely happier with this than my original planter. So I'm going to finish this stuff up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Alrighty, so I finished these. Essentially, they're three little projects all using the same tool and, you know, all wood related. Okay, so this one, um, this top piece is the piece I, I used my hole saw to drill five holes in. And then I glued it to um, this bigger piece that was way more dense that I kind of figured my hole saw would not saw through. So it holds five candles. So cute, right? Pretty handy. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is my log. So, you know, a candle sits in there. Isn't that nifty? I like that. That's kind of like rustic slash, um, I guess you can make it Christmassy, right? Here is this planter. So definitely uh, better holes. It's a good three inches deep. And um, these are diff obviously, um, this is, uh, pallet wood so it's thinner boards and like that and several of them cracked 
um, when I was drilling holes in them, but that's fine. I glued them back together, stained them, and then I made them this funky, like, I, I trimmed the edges before I glued them all together, um, which is what I said I should have done with the original, because trying to saw at angles through four inches of wood is not a great idea, you know, unless you have a chainsaw or something that would be better for that job. But yeah, so this has kind of got some cool angles to it. So there's that. Pretty cool. So this is kind of three individual projects, but I think, you know, they're each a little bit different and um, all using the same tool. I think that's gonna do it for this week. Um, you can check out some of these cool Etsy pieces in my Etsy shop, which you can find in the description below, which might be annoying that I keep talking about it, but um, you know, my house ain't free. <laughs> so any little bit, helps. So um, I had to wait for my drills to recharge like twice because I just, I don't know if it's my drills or if the hole saws just aren't super, super sharp. Or I think the wood I was trying to drill through is maybe a little bit harder than is recommended for them. Um, this smaller, softer wood definitely was a lot easier. Um, this log was honestly pretty easy but for some reason like maybe it's just a bigger hole like it took a little bit um for the whole saws to get through but i don't know you know the first time i'm using them um but overall like i like how this stuff turned out it does look really cool and yeah they're just some simple little like wood projects that like didn't take a bunch of like super fancy tools and i got to try out my whole saw which is fun so you know if you're looking for like somebody to teach you how to do like a super specific complicated project and break down all the pieces and be an expert about it like that's not me so i'm not an expert but if you're looking for somebody to like try stuff and um be encouraging for you to go out and try shit and like you know be some inspiration for like look this stuff's not hard anyone can do it like this is, it's not hard that's me and i'll be honest about it when shit doesn't go well i'll let you know but this this guy this planter definitely went better than the original one and i did two other projects while you know i did that so pretty good um you can check out all these guys um in my etsy shop these are all new things that I made, wood burned and painted and whatnot. This one's like particularly one of my favorites right now. I just like this quote from Dwight. A horse is a bike that pedals itself. I don't know why, I just love that. So you can find all that stuff there. If you're not interested, that's fine. You know, you don't have to be. But if you are, thank you. I appreciate even just looking and liking, favoriting stuff looking at it that's helpful um i'll do some close-ups of these things that i made today just so you can see it a little bit better i didn't stain the inside of this because if you're going to use it as a plant pot thing be careful of what you're putting in that wood because of it leaching into the dirt for your plant it might kill your plant so i hope you enjoyed this little project i got to use a new tool which is always fun you just i gotta see like what it will do and what it does well and I got to redeem myself for this stupid plant thing. So thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys. Give me a like and subscribe if you like it, if you want to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Oh. Uh -huh.